So can we start the session now? So can we start the session now? Yeah, yeah, you can, you can, you can. Very good afternoon. Namaste one and all. Myself, Dr. Ashu Bharadwaj, on behalf of REV, would like to extend warm welcome to our respected dignitaries, respected GB members, re uh, respected Gurujans, our guest speaker of the day, Dr. Raman Singh, sir, all the scholar students and all others present here in the meeting. I welcome you all in 154th session of this weekly webinar series, Yan Ganga, A Knowledge Voyage. We also extend warm welcome and heartfelt uh, gratitude to our mentors who always extend their constant direction, encouragement, and support for sustenance of the series, which are respected Padam Bhushan Vedishri Devendra Trigunaji, President, G Governing Body, REV, respected Vedishri Manoj uh, Nisari Ji, advisor, Ministry of Ayush, respected Dr. Vandana Siroha, ma'am, Director RAV. Today, as a guest speaker, we are blessed to have with us Dr. Raman Singh, sir, for the detailed discussion on the topic, Surgical Principles of Shushrut. Sir has completed his BMS in 1979 from Calcutta, MS Shalya in 1982 from BHU. Sir has done his PhD in uh, Nadi Yantra from BHU. Currently, sir is working as guru at Rashtriya Vidya, uh, Rashtriya Ayurved Vidya Peed in Sharshutra. Sir is director at Surya Trauma Center and is owner of Shushrut Hospital and is practicing as Ayurvedic physician and uh, laparoscopic surgeon. Thank you, sir. Now I, uh, now, I would like to invite Dr. Arpita HR, Program Manager, Ministry of Ayush for Ashwini Suttam Parayanam. Shri Guru Bhuna Baha Hari Om Krava Ani Patari Dattham Jare Thay Gruthay Eva Prukshan Ni Dhiman Tamacha Brahmani Eva Vidatha Gupta Shasa Adhu Deva Havya Janya Aku Rutta Pratariya Baana Rakhe Eva Vira Jeva Yama Varma Sashethe Mene Eva Tanva Shumha Mani Dampati Vakra Dubira Jani Eshu Shumbi Eva Nafratama Ganta Vrva Chatapavi Vajar Pura Nataru Obhi Chakra Vakhi Vakra Divasto Orus Ravancha Ayatam Rathi Eva Chakra Naveva Naparayatam Yuge Vanabhi Eva Navupati Vapratheva Vani Eva Du Arishanya Dhanu Nam Kripaliva Vishra Sahpata Vasman Vati Eva Jurya Nadhi Eva Riti Rakshi Eva Chakshusha Ya Ata Nurbak Hasta Abhiba Tanye Vishyam Bhavishtha Pade Eva Nunaya Tanvasyo Acha Ushtha Abhiba Madhvasne Vadan Tastana Abhiba Vipyatam Jeeva Se Enaha Nase Eva Nastango Rakshita Rakarna Abhiba Sushruta Abhuta Nasne Haste Eva Shakti Matitan Dadi Nakshami Eva Nasamaja Tandraja Amsi Imagiro Ashpina Yushmayanti Shnotre Ene Kasvati Rinsam Sheshitam Gita Neva Mashpina Barthana Nikram Hastovam Gritsamadasto O Akran Tani Naraju Jushanu Vajatam 
Uh, now I request, uh, now I request Dr. Raman Singh, sir, to start the session. Please, sir. Thank you, Dr. Ashu and Dr. Poonam. Can you see my PPT? Yes, sir. Surajesh, Tho, Dakshasti, Dasapati, Vaidyavu, Vishitavu, Suna, Sira, Sarishtha, Saparikar, Dhanamani, Karibuda. इन्हें सत्कार न्याय विरुद्ध करने ना सुनाई ताम सदावत ताम दर्दी कर शल शल्य शकल ताम हमारे यहाँ परंपरा रही है जब मैं बनारस यूनिवर्सिटी में शल्य तंत्र में उस ग्रीट उस कर रहा था उस समय ऑपरेशन थिएटर में जाने के बाद सारे स्टूडेंट को और टीचर को ये आदेश था कि इस श्लोक का पहले स्मरण करें तब उसमें प्रवेश करें और सर्जन को भी निर्देश था कि कोई भी सर्जरी करने के पहले चप्पू चलाने के पहले इस श्लोक का स्मरण किया जाए इस श्लोक के माध्यम से हम भगवान धनवंतरी का प्रार्थना करते हैं कि हे भगवान हम इस रोगी को इस रोग रोग से मुक्त करने के लिए प्रयत्न कर रहे हैं और हमारी कर्म में हमको सफलता मिले ऐसा हमको आशीर्वाद दे आज का जो मेरा टॉपिक है सर्जिकल प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सुश्रुता ये हमारे 40 साल के सर्जिकल प्रैक्टिस का एक एक्सपीरियंस है जिसको मैं आपके साथ शेयर करना चाहता हूँ विथ वन इंसिडेंस वंस अपॉन आई वॉज गिविंग लेक्चर टू एस डी एम आयुर्वेद कॉलेज इन उड़पी देन स्टूडेंट आस्क मी सर कैन यू टेल मी इज देयर एनी सर्जरी इन आयुर्वेदा I was surprised. Either he was not taught, or he is ignorant about the Susur Sangita. In in Ayurveda, Ayurveda is is Ashtanga Ayurveda. In Ashtanga Ayurveda, Shalya is the first of all among the eight disciplines of Ayurveda. So whatever I explained him. to convince that yes there is surgery in ayurveda a part of this i am going to explain here today also susrut was a son of maharshi vishwamitra his guru was devadas dhanvantri he learned the art of shalya tantra that is surgery at kashi present varanasi He compiled surgical principles of surgery in a textbook of Susur Sangita. This Susur Sangita is the first textbook of surgery of the whole world. The principles of Susur Sangita are are still relevant. I can give you one example. I was once with my guru, Professor P. J. Deshpande. Looking after the patient in ward one by one, he he stand at one bed for a while and ask the patient, "Have you passed your flatus?" He said, "Yes, sir." "Have you passed the stool?" He said, "Yes, sir." "Have you passed urine?" He said, "Yes." The professor Deshpande turned us and said. Look here, Susruta say that he will survive. Then after a blood injury in the abdomen, he will definitely survive. And what was the evidence? And what was the proof? The Susruta say, Susruta say 
ಸ್ವಮಾರ್ಗಿ ಪ್ರತಿಪನ್ನಾಸ್ತು ವೀಳ ಮೂತ್ರ ಮಾರುತ ಸ್ವಜೀವಕಿ ಮಾನವ ಭಿನ್ನೆ ಅಕಿ ಗೋಷ್ಠಿ ಅಕಿ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೇಜರ್ ಇಂಜುರಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಎಬ್ಡಮಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಬಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಪೇಶೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಯೂರಿನ್ ಸ್ಟೂಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫ್ಲೆಟಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಇಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ವೇ ದಿಸ್ ಪೇಶೆಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸರ್ವ when i passed many years after doing surgery and moving in the ward and seeing the post operative patient the first question to the operative patient in morning is that have you passed flatus have you passed urine when the patient say yes i have passed flatus i have passed urine then the surgeons become very happy that means there is no complication of the surgery and patient is all right his anatomical structure and physiology is normal and patient is out of complication then we start oral route of the patient from the fluid and medicine and we stop the bleed so to see how relevant is that principle of sutra that whenever there is an injury in the abdomen and the patient is able to pass in status stool and urine this space patient will not die he will survive it is still relevant at its were level in the period of social time now what is science many times we we hear that ayurved is not a science it is not based on the evidence if you look up on the science no one has invented science science there are series of innovations which are going on in progress and a science of subject is formed that is science ayurveda is also a science and it is based on the evidences of the past before having the evidence also the evidence you cannot make a principles and the susum sangita is full of principles there may not be elaborate description what whatever principles are given in the susuda is still they are relevant and they are practicing by the other people like modern modern people they still perform rhinoplasty by the principles of susutta it is evidence that during british period some surgeons came to india and visited at pune and he saw the beautiful surgery was going on as rhinoplasty so he went there and he started the same uh, same procedure at england also and this incidence is present in the library of gentleman magazine you can see there in england so now we look upon the definition of the shalya tantra shalya tantra now what is shalya tantra shalya tantra now we will train kaash pasan pamsu log roshtasti balak puya srav dusht varan antar garv shalya dhanmatam yant sastra char agni pradan varan nishya how elaborate definition is there whatever foreign material is there shalya naam sharira man baad karani shalyani jo challe jo element jo jo organ hamare body mein humko kasht pahunchata hai wo shalya kaha jata hai aur usko nirharan karna uska nikalna whatever may be aur that that may be pus that may be some iron material that may be some stone that may be even the uh, this uh, uh, fetus so he has also mentioned that if the fetus work as a shalya either mother is in the problem danger or fetus is in the danger you do the shalya and i do the nirharan of the fetus new born and by what what means they be are done these are done with the help of yantra shastra char and agni 
So you see how detailed and how elaborate definition is there in Shalya Tantra. And Shalya Tantra is the most important branch of Ashtanga Ayurveda. It is foremost important and it is superior to all the disciplines of Ayurveda. Why? Because through Shalya Tantra, we give the quick relief to the patient. And now the question arises, how the surgery is done? So the requirement of the surgery is, first there should be a surgeon, there should be a patient, and the patient should be investigated, then it should be moved to the operation theater. In operation theater, various instruments should be there, and that instrument and operation theater should be sterilized, it should be made in aseptic condition and there should be a provision for hemostasis and pain management. Without having this, we cannot perform the surgery. Today, in whole world, whatever surgery is done, they have all these things. Without having this, they cannot perform the surgery. Now, if you look at the definition of the surgery, and if you use the cell what is the difference between them? Surgery means to cut open the human body and either remove or repair the tissue. Whereas in Shalya Tantra, what they say? Any cell or any foreign body, maybe external or internal, this should be removed and if, yeah, and if the fetus is in danger position, it should be also removed through laparotomy. Management of the different type of wounds and it should be performed by the help of different types of yantra, sastra, cha and agni. Again, the surgeon and the shalavajda. What is the difference between surgeon and the shalavajda? Shalavajda is the word which has been given to the scholars who are trained in the Shalya Karma. It was derived by our Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya. Madan, Ma, Madan, Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya established Banaras in the university and he started first the integrated course of modern and Ayurveda at Banaras in the university. The first degree was given that was AMS. The full form of AMS was Ayurveda Chaya with modern surgery. And Maharshi and Madan Mohan Malviya said that the person who are trained in Ayurveda with surgery, they will be called as a Salda Vaidya. So the surgeon who can diagnose and treat diseases by surgery and Salda Vaidya, who is the Salda Vaidya? Who do the same things but follow the principle of Sushruta, which are is still relevant as much as you do the surgery, as long as you do the surgery, you will understand the importance of Sushruta. Today, in modern science, today the principle, whatever they have described, they may be changed tomorrow. But Sushruta, whatever he has told years back, is, is still relevant. Many examples can be given. Previously, the cardiac surgery bypass was doing with the saphenous vein graft. Today, it is not doing there. They are, they are telling that this was wrong. There should be an artery over there. One should just do the bypass with the help of artery, not by the vein. So day by day, we develop the principles and sometimes the principle may also change. But the, whatever Susutta has given the, gave the same, same principles that are still relevant and we are following. And the Shalya Vedra, we should know the young Shalya Char and Agri in detail. It should be courageous, having good instruments. It should be alert, it should be active, it should regularly practice the surgical procedure with the help of yoga. It is said 
दट यथा चंदन भारवाही भारवेत्ता दतु चंदन एवं ही शस्त्राणी बहुत चारेशु मूढ़ा खर वी only studying the shastra only learning the shastra and not this following the means and the good good things from the literature we are simply like a like a ash who are who is this uh, this carrying the oats of chandan but he do not know the importance of the chandan Shall the Vedya should know the excision, the Ashtavita Sastakaram, that is Chedda, Vedya, Lekya, Vedya, Eshana, Aharya, Vishrama and Shiva. Whatever surgery is done in the whole world, they come into these, these procedures only. And there is no only the nine procedure which can be helped to do the surgery. Only this procedure, the procedure has done to do the surgery. Even still today, now not the, not about that only. The the surgeon or shalle provider should know where to apply the knife. It is very important for the surgeon. You should know where not to apply the uh, apply the scissors or your your knife. It is not important to go and doing all the surgery every time surgery every year surgery. No, you should know where not to use the knife. That is a good surgery. And all the surgery should be result oriented. If you are if you are thinking that after doing my surgery patient is not being benefited, then don't do the surgery. It is also mentioned that the, in different part of the body different type of incision should be also made. To prevent various vital organs, vital structures, cell vector should also know that what type of incision should be there, how much incision should be there. A simple wound may need a simple simple incision, but a gangrenous wound may need a very large incision to excise the many 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 structures which are dead over there. Until unless you are do a good good excision in the in the in the in the gangrenous case there will be no good result after the surgery so by what means they will do the surgery by the help of yantra that is described in sushrutta it is about 101 types which helps to mainly to hold the hold the organs or to retract the organ during the surgery And there are twenty types of sharp instruments, which are mainly used for the dissecting and cutting of the tissues. The surgeon should also know what should be done before the surgery, during surgery, and after surgery. Before surgery, a patient should be selected whether he is fit for surgery or not, whether surgery is required or not. Many patients come having a complaint of abdominal pain, and after investigating. They may get stones in the gall bladder, but if you carefully see and examine the patient, the pain is not due to the stone, but pain is due to some other GI problem. In such patient, if you do the surgery, if you do the laparoscopy, if you if you do the open surgery to remove the gall stone, may remove the gall stones. We may earn money money from the patient, but patient is not relieved. So. Our surgery should be result oriented. If you think that this pain is due to the stone only, then go go for removing the stone or the, doing the surgery. If it is not, it is due to the, some other disease. And only incidentally, you are getting in the investigation that the stone is there in the gall bladder. You should not jump for the surgery. Now investigate thoroughly about the vitals, about the means. Of the patient about the hemoglobin, blood sugar, thyroid, whatever in the scan which is required today, that should be done done for a safe surgery and for a good result. Patient preparation before surgery is also very important. Decision should be taken what type of surgery is done and the instruments and operation theatre should be prepared accordingly before the surgery. During operative procedure or during pradhan karna. 
Thus, there should be preparation of OT for surgery, definitive surgery. And, and the anesthesia should be also there. Then the third part is the preparation of the patient, surgical part, and then the procedure is done, the definite surgery is done. And after doing the surgery, the patient is shifted to the ward at place where the vitals are monitored and the necessary drugs should be given to the patient for his post op complications. Now, the other thing which is, which, is a, which is important for all the new birds of new Shalya, shalya Chikitsa, Pryogasa Vajjasa Siddhi Bhava Prishaha. If you want the Siddhi or the want to be a good surgeon, it is required for you to do always practice over there on different types of yoga which are present today. Even Susruta also described many yoga on many types of fruits to practice over the Ashtavita Shastra Karma. Asmaat Parisaran Kriya Sastra Nam Dharani Sarabhi is very important. Many times, first of all, when I went to the operation theater, I was not able to hold the needle holder. I was not able to hold seizure properly. I was not able to hold forcep properly. So after surgery and the leisure period, I always used to practice the instruments. And many instruments are that. Suppose you are doing surgery, you select someone, give you the instrument. You cannot do the surgery by that instrument. So first you know your instrument, how it is working, and then how it is safe to use, in which manner you have to use safety for the instrument. Then you can perform the good surgery. And the very important thing was Susukta say, Satata Adhyanam Vada Parapanta Aurotanam Tat Vidya Chara Seva Cha Buddhi Meda Karogana. If you want to be intelligent in any subject, there should be continuous study of that particular subject. You should do discussion among with your colleagues and the gurus. You should see how the others are performing that procedures and have a regard to the stall wars of the surgery. Then you can learn the surgery. Without doing this, you cannot be a good surgery or good surgery or shalavadya. Now, we are lucky that in 2019, the government of India allowed the or shalya vajra to conduct many types of like, like, uh, open surgery like abscesses, gangrenes, plastic surgery, tumor, yeah. tumor, bone, orthopedic yeah. surgery, laparotomy, hemorrhagic diseases like piles, fistula, lab, urological surgery like removal of stone, calculus, ureter dilatation, doing phimosis, endoscopy like laparoscopy, GI surgery like appendicectomy, cholecystectomy, tracheal intubation, ventilation, ENT surgery, eye, nose and throat. These surgeries are allowed by the government of India very luckily nowadays. Now, if you see the chedal, what is chedal? Chedal means chedal cut to remove a diseased part from the body is known as chedal cut, like in cholecystectomy, appendicectomy, and the chedal cut, like in hydrocele, you just incise the skin, this kind of surface tissue. And in the vaginal tunica, vaginal, if you decide it functionally, the fluids come out and the testicle is transfixed by wrapping this cord around, around the testicle. This tunica vaginal is the suture. This is the example of Vedan curve and the lathan curve is striking, is, is scraping of the wound, removing the this uh, dead tissue from the wound that is known that is done by the lathan karma. Now the functioning, Vedan karma. In vein section, puncturing the veins, tubes in vision, in vision karma, Asia, like a fish line in a row, we just probe to see the extent and the length of the fish line, you know, to apply the charge sutra. Now, aharan also, removal of the stones are an example of aharan, removal of the fetus from the womb is also the example of aharan, and vishravana, various types of wounds doing dealing abscesses by drainage is known as Vishramya. Now lastly, the Sivan Karma is done, suturing is done, Nati Dureva, Nikrishteva, 
that this should be neither this should be neither very near nor should be far so that the complication may not arouse the stitch access may not, may not arise so how the suture is also done a simple thing also described by the sushmita now sewage is also done in prolapse of the rectum in shear shear technique sometimes we use the wire all around or wire all around all around or sometimes we use char sutra also all around the char sutra may create fibrosis and there is a thick band around the ext external sphincter and the patient is cured by prolapse rectum now not only doing surgery is important you should know also what happened after the surgery you should know the signs of healing whether the sign is the healing is proper or not and what are the things which may delay your healing like your agile the exercises by your some exercises your very anger and uh, very 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 joyful doing joyful activities and usually after 6 month even today the modern science also say that the tensile strength of the any wound which you cut the wound and with you so suture the wound that is not healed properly the tensile strength the strength of the wound come after 6 to 1 year so up to 6 and 1 year there should not be any exercise which can damage the wound even after doing char sutra so sutra say for one year there should not be horse riding now in ayurveda we have the pain management also after doing surgery the jasti madhu with the grip in warm form that should be applied over the wound which can lay out this pain to the patient after post op surgery in aseptic concept is also there in susurta by dhupan karam of the various means after doing raksha vidhana raksha vidhana is also there we should also study do the research over there whatever dhupan which can be help to stabilize the atmosphere of the operation theater and what are the raksha vidhan when the patient should not be get infected or we can prevent many type of complications after the surgery the anesthesia also was there it may not be in this form which are we are using these day but type of anesthesia type of vedana haran was also also uh, the means we are use during type time of sushrutha that that also is a field of the research in these day now for hemostasis chatur vidham nirtati rudesh nivaram kandhanam matkandam teyo patanam vidhanam whatever means we are using today for hemostasis they are all come into the heading of four kandan akandan teyo and patanam and dhan these are help these helps to stop the bleeding during the surgery and the more important which after doing my phd work on nadi yantra i was very much surprised the whatever laparoscopes are doing today there are only this extension of the innovation of the nadi yantra which was described by the sushrutha nadi yantra ni anek prakara hai anek prayojan hai ek to mukhani to hai to mukhani shroto dar parihani yatha yog dirghani tani shroto gat salyo dharanartham rog darshanartham aachu sanartham kriya sautarya whatever laparoscopic surgery is done they are always done for salyodhananartham rogasnarthanartham aachushanartham and kriya sutra there is no any other indication whatever sutra has described and sutra say whatever i had mentioned over here that is not that is not the end of that sabuddha chatu vyati jant karmani buddhima sankhe asankhe vikalpa salyanat nishya you should innovate according to your desire according to your need necessity of surgery numerous type of instrument so now this is the extension of the nadi yantra by innovation now in char sutra you can see we apply the char karma like we did our salya salya karma by char agni this uh, your and yantra and uh, yantra sutra char and agni now this is char sutra which we are doing regularly in our practice 
Now this is uh, also a Agni Karma laser surgery, which we are doing in uh, various types of regions. Now this is setting of the laser for a patient who is having fissure with uh, external hemorrhoid. Now this is setting over the machine. After making it on, and it is usually still 100, 100 grams, the current is passes with the help of O. And this is a foot switch. After pressing the foot switch, the current is passes, the laser is on. And We usually, this, this current has started by pressing the switch over there, and we have the instruments in hand. Now, this is sentinel tied with fissure. With help of laser, the fissure bed is cut, and sentinel tag is removed. This is a variety of type of Agni Karma, innovation of the Agni Karma. We are also going to use this in these days. Now this is today's Nari, Nari Yendra Chedan Karma of Pitashmari. Patient is placed in the table in literal position. This is various needle introduced to inflate the abdominal wall. So the all infection go down and abdominal wall come up. We need to do the toka safely in the abdomen. This is the camera port through which a telescope is pushed inside. We see the internal organ. Quick look of the internal organ. These are momentum, intestines. This is the stomach, this is liver, this is calcium ligament, again this is liver. The second port that is epigastric port is introduced. Next, the third port is at the level of mid clavicular line and the fourth port at the level of anterior axillary line. The gallbladder is pulled, pushed up towards the medial side. This is the Hartsman pouch. This Hartsman pouch will hold with the left hand. The whole is just pulled up. Now this is the stomach. And these are the tissues which are surrounding the cystic duct and cystic artery. We burst of current apply over here. Gradually, the section is going on to expose the cystic duct and cystic artery. The main is to expose the cystic duct and cystic artery and save the common by duct. By saving the common by duct and after the proper identification of the structure, it should be removed by various means. This is fatty tissue surrounding the this is important structures, obvious sulcus, hepatic segment 4 and segment 5, the ball border is in between 4 and 5, in between 4 and 5, the dissection is safe zone, where you should do dissection, otherwise there are too much complications of doing this surgery, you are, if you are not conducting in a proper way, at the proper site, there are maximum complications seen in this surgery. So, one time it is very simple surgery and one time it is very complicated surgery when get complications arise away. So, be very careful, do carefully, be alert, cautious, gentle and slow rejection is the key for success.
all the areas which are surrounding the important structures are separated gradually. These are the structures which are separated. This is the stomach. So, very low current should be passed, otherwise, there may be injury, thermal injury to the vital structures like the stomach. Now, the gland is seen over here. This is, this is gland. This indicates that there is cystic artery over here. This is gland. So, artery is here, and this is duct. And again, it needs more dissection to clear the structure. Now this is cystic artery, this is cystic duct. These structures should be divided with the help of either suture material by diathermy. Sometimes ligature can be applied, but we apply the clips over there. Now, should be careful during dissection because whatever structure I am dissecting, this is the hepatic artery. This one is hepatic artery. So, be careful. Don't apply any clip or vibrate any things. So, there is song in Vera Nam Jodhar. Hey, bhai, jara, break the chalo. Aage hi nahi piche bhi. Daaye hi nahi baaye bhi. Upar hi nahi niche bhi. उसे ना हमको समझ में नहीं आता था कि ऊपर भी नहीं नीचे भी मतलब क्या होता है अब इसमें समझ आता है अगर नीचे के अर्थ में हम नहीं डिस्ट्रक्शन करेंगे तो हमारी सीढ़ी भी कट जाएगी तो नीचे भी देख के चलना है ऊपर भी देख के चलना है डिस्ट्रक्शन करना है राइट साइड में भी केयरफुल डिस्ट्रक्शन करना है लेफ्ट साइड में भी केयरफुल डिस्ट्रक्शन करना है और केयरफुल डिस्ट्रक्शन करने के बाद जो हमको डिस्ट्रक्शन समझ में आए इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द लाइफ दैट शुड बी सेफ and the structure which is required for the dissection that should be only dissected over there no dissection is required over here to save the hepatic artery this is the gland indicating cystic artery you can burn it cystic artery is born again a, a small branch is there this is also a branch of cystic artery this is cystic duct now you see there is hepatic artery over here this is hepatic artery this is hepatic artery long hepatic artery over here and this is cystic duct this is cystic artery this is cystic duct now it is clear that the hepatic artery is safe. So, Kriya Sautarya This is hepatocystic triangle. It is very safe area. Now the clip is applied. Usually we have three, three clips, two proximal, one distal, and they are cut in, cut in between two proximal and one lateral. This is Cystic duct, which is cut over here. This is by coming up, coming up. This is cystic artery. This can be born. Usually, you burn it where it is attached, inserted in the lower area. So, now cystic duct, you see, it is pulsating, artery is pulsating nicely. So now we are safe. We have saved the vital organs. We have removed the, vital, the organs which were required for removal. Now surgery is over. Now the border is containing the stones. They are dissected from the border fossa. Gradually, border is removed from the border bed. And after removing the water from the water, 
the last stroke of pottery and gold water is removed. Now, usually we apply the drain and the gold water is removed. Now, the next surgery is Mutrasmri Nirharan with the help of Nari Yantra. You first apply the cystoscope into the urethra, the urinary bladder. You see there are multiple stones in the urinary bladder. We insert a trocar from the suprapubic region. Now, these are the stones. This needs reliever, removal. After palpating from the suprapubic region, the trocar is inserted inside. And after introducing the trocar with the help of forceps, we hold the stones. We hold the stone with the forceps. These are the forceps. Singamukha Yantra of Nari Yantra which are helping to hold the stone and remove from the urinary bladder. Now this last one, the stones are removed. A patient gone to home, second day. So this is done with the help of Nari Yantra. Now in Vridhi Road, in Harnia, we also use the Nari Yantra, various instruments are there. We dissect the, this is peritoneal fold covering the inter, this, uh, internal opening of the hernia. After dissecting, this, this is the cord structure. We separate the sac from the cord structure. We define the vas difference and the inferior epigatic vessels. After doing proper dissection, we apply the appropriate size of mesh over there. This is 10 by 15 mesh. This size is adequate for this type of hernia. The hernia was very small, direct type. The sac is spread over the openings of the hernia. The sac is fixed at one place only. And the peritoneal cone of the peritoneal was future. Now the next is Yakri Vidravi. This is a very good example of Rogdarsanartham, Kriyasaltaratham and Ajusnartham. Now here the axis, this is the axis, this axis is punctured with the help of pottery. We will see the gus of pus is coming out, yes, now the pus is coming out. After enlarging this wound, a drain is applied in the cavity of wound to prevent the spillage of the peritoneal cavity. Our drain is passed inside. And after aspirating Achushan Artham, after Achushan, all the Kuya. Next is the Gudurok Parikshan by the help of endoscopes, hyperoptic endoscopes. We are the anorectal surgeons. Any surgery which are doing in the anorectal region should be exclude the malignancy. And this is normal sigmoidoscopy. So, in this way, we can use Yantra, Shastra, Char, and Agni according to our choice. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Sir, you have a good 
समझाया हमें यू टोल्ड अस अबाउट द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ सर्जरी डिफरेंस बिटवीन सर्जरी एंड शल्य तंत्र इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ हैविंग प्रॉपर नॉलेज ऑफ वेरियस शस्त्र कर्म फॉर सर्जन्स इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ प्रॉपर एग्जामिनेशन सो यू सो यू गिव अ वेरी गुड पिक्टोरियल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ यंत्र एंड शस्त्र आंसर द वीडियो प्रेजेंटेशन वॉज वेरी अमेजिंग uh and uh i hope uh, we got to learn so much from this now we will begin the question and answer session if any was if anyone has any doubt they may ask please agar kisi ke doubt hain to wo pooch sakte hain Okay, thank you. On the behalf of organizing committee, I present thanks to the speaker of the webinar, Dr. Raman Sen Sir, for the detailed discussion on the topic surgical principles of Shishrut. I also present word of thanks to our mentor, Padm Bhushan, with their Devendra Trigona Ji, President G V R E V, for his continuous support, guidance, and blessings. We also admire. presence of dr vandana siroha ma'am director rev for her unstoppable support and directions which are very much needed for the success of all the activities held i also thank where their um, where their uh, nisari ji and dr kosto upadhyay ji sir advisor uh, ministry of ayush for his constant support and guidance we all are highly obliged to have you sir with us I would also like to thank all the profound gurus and shishas who joined us, uh, who joined us in spite of their busy schedule to make this webinar a great success, and also to the organizing team of R E V who worked behind the stage. The information about the speaker and the next webinar will be shared with all of us soon. Till then, stay healthy and have a good day, everyone. Thank you so much. Namaste, sir.